Okay, last time we left on this cliffhanger, but there is a new threat to this hegemony. Now, that was mean, but here we are, and the biggest threat to US global dominance is China. Yes, you could probably tell from the thumbnail, but, but it's not for the reason you think. This isn't World War Three fear-mongering stuff. US hegemony boils down to financial control of the global market. The US racks up huge debts and the rest of the world pays for it. It is literally insane how they pulled off this stunt. Ta-da! And so, if someone challenged the principle that the US dollar always needs to be there every time people trade internationally, then we have a completely different ball game, people. The US might even be finished. So let's look at specifically how China could threaten this power. Since about 2013, the CCP have been developing a new way to manage their currency. They have been developing CBDC, not CBD oil, you fucking stoner, a central bank digital currency. Now this is a digital currency that is issued directly by the central bank of a country to its people. It's just like cash, but in the digital form. This is the future of money and the Chinese unleashed their Yuan back in 2020. Basically, you have your Yuan in your digital wallet on your smartphone and you can use it to pay for anything just like real cash. Now, the crazy part here, in case you missed it, like the most insane part about it, I cannot emphasize this enough, is that you don't need a commercial bank anymore. It's your money on your smartphone backed by a central bank. No savings account with some commercial bank who charges you fees or some middleman like PayPal, MasterCard or Visa. It's hard to explain how revolutionary this is. Since money came into existence, money lenders have gotten in on the exchange process somehow. Since the time of Venetian bankers in medieval Europe, banks have arguably controlled states themselves. But this CBDC completely changes the game. It cuts out private banks. Just you the citizen and the central bank. Who controls money supply anyway? Why have the middleman who just charges fees? Now this would never kick off in a Western free market society. I'll tell you that much for free. You could argue that banks facilitated capitalism itself. So cutting them out of the gravy chain would be next to impossible as an initiative of the West. And you watch any Western commentator talk about the CBDC concept and it's all, oh, central banks just want to monitor your spending and control the market. Hello? This is exactly what banks do anyway. Do they not see the irony of this concern? I don't get it. But this is what it comes down to. Why the introduction of the EU one might be the biggest geopolitical move since World War II. Because this digital currency infrastructure offers a viable alternative to the US dollar in global finance. As we saw in part one, most international transactions flow through US banks or the SWIFT system. This keeps the US at the center of global finance. But SWIFT is clunky and bogged down in bureaucracy. Using the EU yuan is instantaneous between end users. Let me give you an analogy that helped me understand it. SWIFT is like sending a letter through an old school post office. Your money gets handed from one post office to the next and each stop costs time and money. But with the EU yuan, it's like sending a text. One tap and boom, it's there. The money is all handled on a system powered by something like blockchain. And remember, SWIFT is dominated by US interests. Anyone using it is subject to US sanctions. With the EU yuan, countries can trade directly with China, 
no US dollar, no SWIFT, no American bank sticking its nose in. It's a workaround that terrifies Washington. Now you're probably thinking, well, this is all theoretical. And you'd be largely correct, because like we saw when Nixon unpegged the US dollar from gold and other countries were freed up, no one stopped using the dollar. Even now, if there was an alternative that was cheaper and more efficient, would that be enough of an incentive to change? Would people trust the Chinese? Well, something extraordinary happened when Russia stepped up the war Ukraine in 2022. The US and the European Union confiscated 450 billion from the Russians. Just like that. Now if you're another country watching that with US dollar reserves and maybe you're not on the same page as the US with your foreign policy decisions, you're thinking to yourself, oh shit, that could happen to me too. This is exactly the type of motivation people need to start looking at real alternatives. And they have been. And China isn't leaving this up to chance either. It's building a parallel global payment network through initiatives like the Belt and Road Project. China's using its economic clout to get countries on board with this alternative system by offering massive infrastructure investments across Asia, Africa, even parts of Europe, China is laying the groundwork for a new kind of financial trading option. Project Enbridge is a collaboration between China, Thailand, the UAE and other countries where the goal is to create a cross-border payment system using digital currencies to settle trade in real time. Now this is all in its infancy at the moment and the US dollar still reigns supreme for now. But the takeaway is this, if enough of these factors mount up, the US might not be able to rely on its print and spend magic trick forever. And that means the deficits we've been talking about could actually start to become a serious problem. The US system only works because the world still needs dollars. But if enough countries switch to the EU yuan or something else, suddenly America can't borrow as easily. And when the borrowing stops, the spending stops. That's when the house of cards really starts to fall. If the US loses its grip on the global financial system, we will be looking at a new world order. Game over US global control and game on China. Now, if you like this video, give it a like and a comment and subscribe for more. Remember, I am, you are, we are a mystery. I am on Patreon. Please follow the link in the description and sign up for free. We are trying to build a revolutionary community over there. So go become a member, feel free and join the conversation. If you can contribute financially, that would help a lot towards making this content.